Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. So you have one of our brothers. That was a Louisiana state trooper. His name is Carl Cavalier, and he has been fired in the wake of leaks of internal records regarding the 2019 death of Ronald Green, a black motorist who was beaten, tased, bound face down on the ground, and later died while in police custody. Now, in the aftermath of the incident, Green's family you know, was told your loved one had died of injuries sustained in a car crash. They lied. They completely lied at the end of a chase. But the 49-year-old vehicle had showed up with little uh, to support that claim. Now, Cavalier, uh, seemingly angered by the way Green's case was handled, and rightfully so, because, you know, our brother Carl was a real man of the law. And a man, a woman of the law, do not want to see no citizen um, being mistreated by white supremacists no matter who they are. They say not much was reported for about two years, and the brother gave a tell-all interview to local news detailing what he believed was a cover-up about Green's death in order to help you know, the race soldiers involved in void charges. The brother has said, I love what I do. He said, and he said, but we still have murderers in my eyes on the job. He said, guys who receive a slap on the wrist for their roles in the Ronald Green incident that are unpunished, patrolling the streets and left on the job. Yes, you have to understand the the history of the race soldier goes back to slavery. The slavery, they had the slave patrol. The slave patrol was meant to hunt down and bring slaves back to the plantation, but the, the, the slave patrol had, had powers to do whatever they want to do, right? If they wanted to kill the slave, they could. If they wanted to beat the slave, if they wanted to rape the slave, they can do whatever they want to do. They move the slave patrol to the municipal police departments, literally with the same powers. Let's call it what it is. Daniel Holtzclaw violating a bunch of black women, right? Continuing. So it said a 33-year-old was ultimately suspended and placed on a five-week uh, paid leave for leaking internal state police files related to investigation during his appearance in multiple interviews. Following the announcement of his termination, a spokesperson by the Louisiana State Police Department, said that the brother violated policy. Well, you know what? You violated policy because you're covering race soldiers. You're covering up the murder that race soldiers are committing. So you're violating. So let's get this straight. The man that's exposing what y'all refuse to put out to the public, he's fired. I mean, pay attention to that. This is why, you know, when, when some of you say, well, I want to get into the police department. I want to get into this and get into that and try to change it from within. It is rotten to the core. You cannot inject nothing good into what's rotten. You understand? That system, when you say that, in order for America to completely change, the, the system has to be completely torn down to where it's at and rebuilt back up to something new. The way it operates, it operates like that. Racism, white supremacy is the foundation of America. The culture of white supremacy is the foundation. If you take away white supremacy and, and, and everything that they do out of America, you're going to have to build a new country. You understand? They, they will keep, as the brother said, murderers on the job. So they said that Trooper Cavalier received the decision of the appointing authority to move forward with determination based on administrative investigation and review he violated several department policies. As it should be noted, our disciplinary administrative process is not finalized. The Cavalier remains an employee. That's what they said at the time, but this time, right? But the troopers' termination is reportedly said to go into effect about 45 days. 
They said the firing is that came on the heels of a September lawsuit Cavalier who had been in the organization since 2014 filed against the department accusing his superiors of harassment and discrimination. They say in his suit, Cavalier claims his problems began soon after he issued a ticket to a Homer police officer in 2018. Police officers not above the law. They say the trooper uh, told the outlet he faced immense pressure from his bosses and that he was met with sharp criticism in comparison to his peers. And the documents obtained is by the outlet also uh, alleged that the state police personnel began harassing Cavalier's relatives over minor traffic violations. And say the former officer said that his complaints were ignored. So now they was going and, and mess with the brother's family, right? For doing his job. It is a matter of you police or not. If you are speeding, then you're supposed to get a ticket. Either pay your ticket, get a lawyer, do whatever. So, so you he can't get a ticket. Now, state troopers is above your regular city police, right? So a city police should know better why he should have to be pulling him over. But you don't supposed to be doing that, right? See, what it is, I'm telling y'all what it is. In the mind of the white supremacists, they're raised, even when they they, 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 they this small, to not respect you, and they're raised to always have a position of authority. They believe in this so much. Now, listen to me. Y'all seen this happen. They will take a, 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 a job paying them less money just to have a supervisor position. How many times have y'all seen that happen? They, they could be make, they got to take a $30,000 pay cut just to be a supervisor. You were like, and then you talk to them, you're like, yeah, you know, I lost, I lost a lot of money taking this job. They'll tell you some of them like, really? Well, why would you take a job making less money? I mean, the point to getting a job is to make more money, right? Well, isn't, isn't that really the thing we, we're supposed to be doing? But they will take a pay cut just to have authority over you and anybody else. This is how they're raised. This is the culture of white supremacy. Y'all have to understand that. The police, that job, right? That doesn't pay much. It really don't. They would do that job just to have authority. See, a lot of us are hardwired to think like they do. So when it comes to policing, they believe that's a position of authority. And, and, and if, the, if, if a Negro going to be in that position, then he better stay in the racial pecking order. In other words, yeah, you a cop and that's fine, but you better not enforce no law on us. Who, who are you to be pulling us over and telling us anything? I have talked to many black police officers and they have said, Everywhere I've talked to them, I've talked to uh, some from uh, Fort Worth police. I've talked to Houston police. I've talked to brothers uh, uh, in, in the D.C. police. Okay. Brothers out there in L.A. I've talked to brothers all over the place about that, that are police. And every last one of them said that they treat them different. They're discriminated against. And they better not uh, 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 even say nothing too much about what them uh, race soldiers are doing. They better not, or it's going to be hell to pay. Look at what they were doing to our brother's family. Just doing his job, they, they trained him to do, and then they start harassing his family. See, there's no such thing as back the blue. That no, What they mean is back the blue, that's Mzungu. That's what they mean. They don't mean back the blue, because back the blue means black officers are as well. Now, they'll back him if he's terrorizing black people. Oh, that, they, oh yeah, 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 man, he's... We love Carl. He's a he's an awesome trooper. But when he go on arresting them folks on or even writing tickets. Look, think about it. He just wrote a ticket, and his family started being harassed. Now they say, in addition, when he sought help from the trooper employee assistance program in, in October 2020 about the racism he endured, the suit claims that Cavalier was told uh, the members of that organization weren't trained to handle those type of complaints. And Cavalier stated that he was demoted and transferred several times in retaliation for speaking out. You say he, he reportedly said that his uh, termination will go into effect within 45 days or so. So when a black cop does the right thing and the black cop is being B1 or just doing his job, you can say B1, but just doing his job because you don't supposed to be police supposed to murder nobody. That's, a, that's, that's against the law. That's on the books. Police supposed to be murdering nobody. And for sure, you don't supposed to be covering it up. 
that's against the law too. What is that obstruction of justice? Um, you know, concealing evidence. I mean, so many different things that that's murder. You understand what I'm saying? That there's laws on the books, but see, understand they they only enforce the laws they want to enforce. So like we just talked about the story with the other black man make, making his look uh, comments on parlor at, at the day of uh, or the day after the the coup. He gets the longest sentence when the mother was not getting much or nothing. You understand? It, it, it is a law in this country for you. It's a law for them. Listen, it don't matter who you are or what you ascend to in America. As long as these people are in control, they will always look at you as you know what. Even if you Barack Obama raised with a white mama and white grandmama and didn't have no a black daddy around you look how they would the name and he done everything he could to back them up and they still called him names they still was being racist to him they really they had no reason to be he wasn't doing nothing for black folks obviously he didn't do crap for us so but even though he was doing something for them they still hated barack obama and he messed off his own his own legacy because he didn't do nothing for black people and that's why you know, he I know he 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 regrets everything that he done in their presidency. I know, just like he killed Gaddafi, or well, he green lighted the killing of Muammar Gaddafi. It's a lot of things that Obama like Obama has no respect in the black community. None. And he chose that. He chose that. One thing I'm gonna tell y'all uh, as black people, never mess up your legacy for nobody. Because your legacy is gonna precede you even after you're dead and gone. I know that. That's why I'm like, I'm not making no decisions to mess up my legacy. No. Uh uh-uh. uh, I rather the respect of my people than anybody else. If you lose the respect of the people in your own community, you got no respect. People outside the community can never give you the respect that people inside your own community will give you. So, um, this is not the first cop that's ever been fired or retaliated against. We could, and it doesn't matter, really. Even white cops that have called out, you know, things they've done the same thing to them. Uh, but of course, him being a black man is definitely be more with definitely racism to it. So, shout out to our brother Carl, you know, for, for taking the stand and doing the right thing. But you know, leave me a comment. Let me know something about our brother here. Um, like I said, brother Carl, you you don't want to be affiliated with this trash. You don't. Um, I I would say just me personally. Now I'm dealing with just knowing how them folks act. They're not going to stop retaliating against you just because you got fired. I would just um, I probably just leave. You know, go go to another state. And, and rebuild my life somewhere else, you know, me and my family, you know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, Louisiana, like I know about Louisiana very well. It, it's a special breed of racism down there. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.